Hi everyone, welcome to another video on New World. In this video, I'm just going to go over some of my thoughts with the new fresh start servers that are going live on November 2nd. If you're a returning player, um, I think the biggest draw for you is likely going to be the fact that you get to start on an equal footing with everyone, especially if you were one of those players that didn't dupe or exploit anything in the initial launch of New World. So to that end, I, I think you're right. It is going to be great in that regard. It's going to be an equal footing for everyone. Uh, the only difference between that equal footing that you're expecting versus what you might see is that a lot of people that have been playing the game this entire time might have the experience and the, um, the knowledge to get ahead and create a company or take over the server quicker than we might anticipate. Uh, that won't likely occur too quickly but it, it could happen i can i can see that maybe happening in the larger population servers uh, and regions like us east as well as europe central europe uh, us west not so much i think there are only a few companies that do do a lot of um, control aspect of, of the initial or the actual servers that exist already so those companies are likely to jump into the new fresh start servers i don't know if they'll retain all of their players as they go in uh, but uh, they, they will likely have a leg up on everyone else. That being said, though, for returning players or new players, I don't think your focus should be territory control. Uh, territory control and companies and wars and so on are end game content. I think the key to uh, the fresh start servers should be for everyone just enjoying the experience, you know, where we're all leveling together. There's no transfers, so there's no old money coming in. Everyone's on an equal footing in that regard. And as a result, uh, our experience in the game in its new form, um, especially for the level 1 through 25 leveling experience, uh, there will be a few people that get to 60 and max level within a day or two uh, because those people are able to play the game more so than, say, casuals like myself. Uh, I consider myself a casual because I only have a few hours each day that I can play the game. So I, I'm definitely not going to be able to get to 60 as quickly as some others. That being said, though, I will be streaming my journey. Um, I'm just going to log in to the Fresh Start to create my character. So I have a, a spot and I'll, I'll miss out on the initial Zerg rush of everyone, you know, doing their thing. But I, I'm sad to, to, to miss out on that. But I, I will be able to show the leveling of my character and so on uh, after the fact. So uh, in that sense, it shouldn't be too bad for me. And I will try to get on both the US West servers for sure. And I think that might be something else that uh, people may want to do is get on multiple servers just to, depending on what time you're able to play, um, to, to experience the initial Zerg and the beaches when they're filled with people. And I did get to experience some of that in PTR when they uh, launched the 1 through 25 on PTR. And I'm looking forward to seeing what that's like on fresh start servers and i and i think that's something that one shouldn't miss and i'll try to get some footage um, of that but uh we'll, we'll see how that goes um other things to consider um just like i said one have fun enjoy the experience the other the other aspect of it is listen to all of the quest dialogue the story uh, and the telling of the story has improved quite a bit in the new uh, starting experience and i think uh, rather than collecting notes and not really reading them, we get to actually experience what a tournament is all about in this new start. Uh, so do that. And um, there's a lot of lore to be learned and a lot of lore to be heard. So make sure you listen and, and enjoy that aspect. PvP, you can turn the flags on once you get to settlements. For those that are really PvP-centric, um, you can still do that. That's not an issue. So you can you can engage in PvP early. It doesn't matter. For, but for those that are mainly PvE and not really interested in that until endgame and, and the 3v3s arenas, uh, you can always just enjoy the PvE content and uh, there's going to be a, a vast majority of that. The only thing that I, I'm concerned about is perhaps the botting of the game. Hopefully that doesn't happen where we get um, a thousand bots just you know populating these servers and, and mining all the materials and, and selling them on the outposts. Uh, which I don't think will be too much of an issue, but it's possible. I'm pretty sure AGS is looking into that and ensuring that that doesn't happen because they want to make sure that this relaunch of the game goes well versus what occurred initially. Um, yeah, so th those are some of the, my thoughts on uh, on what one should look to 
when playing fresh start that's just my opinion obviously some of you may may differ in that where you're more focused on getting to 60 as soon as possible getting control of the entire map and getting your company to be the most prominent company on the server um, so yeah, that's that's essentially it for me guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video Don't forget to share like subscribe and comment below what you think uh, You're looking forward to most in fresh start and what you think is uh, the most important aspect of fresh start and um, Yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you guys in a tournament. Have a good one